And welcome back everybody for another video about the Lenovo Legion 5 laptop that I recently purchased. Today I want to go through the software that comes with it which is Lenovo Vantage. So let's dive right into the uh, user interface. I'll go through it piece by piece, I guess high level. I won't go into too much detail but let's just see what options we have and the things we can tweak. So as you can see it has some Legion branding. I believe every Lenovo laptop comes with uh, the Lenovo Vantage software, only this has the uh, Legion branding in it. As you can see here on the top left we have GPU usage, we also have the memory that is used by the video card below it. At this moment I'm using less than one gigabyte of the six available. In the middle we can see the CPU usage. If you hover over it you can see what type of CPU is in the laptop. Here you can see what type of video card is being used. And on the right side we can see the RAM usage. Uh, of total 60 gigabytes I am using 9.2 gigabytes. On the right side you can see the SSD that's inside it. Uh, also the usage of it. And below it we can see the hard drive which is a one terabyte hard disk. We have some system tools below. System update, if you click on it, we can update our system. We can see what versions we are running, I believe, or at least when the next update is scheduled. At this moment, we are completely up to date. On the right side, we can see the auto update settings. We have critical updates, which contains hardware updates specific for the laptop, Windows, probably drivers and such. And then we've got the recommended updates that can be enabled or disabled. And below we can click straight through to the Windows settings and check our Windows version if it's up to date. But that is outside of this tool to basically click you back into the Windows interface to change those settings. So that was system update. Let's check out the uh, power system tools. So this basically shows you your battery life, the battery condition. You can see some more details of the battery. You can see which, I guess, firmware they're running. You can see all these fine details here. We have some more settings we can adjust. Lenovo Vantage Toolbar, aha, okay, so this is in your taskbar. You can basically enable or disable quick tool access. Some battery life options, we can rapid charge, we can conserve the, we can go into conservation mode, which will expand the battery life. It won't fully load it, it will only charge it up to, I think, 60%. We have some power settings for the USB ports. Uh, you can enable the USB ports to have power on them while the laptop is switched off, maybe to power up your um, devices like iPhones or Android telephones, what have you. Then when we go back to system tools, we have a tab with media. We click on media and we can basically set our camera settings of the webcam. And we've got a hardware scan option which can scan your laptop for issues. You can also, let's see, if you hit refresh. When we hit refresh, as you can see, you can see the specs of your laptop in case you have forgotten them. We can go to customize and we can run independent tests of the hardware. Let's do, for example, a memory test. Let's do a quick random pattern test. Hit run. That test took about a minute, so I jumped ahead in time. As you can see, here are the results. Nope, we can click here on details and you can see exactly some specs of the test. Okay, so there's an option to recover bad sectors. If you click on here, I will not test this right now. I just got the laptop, so it should be okay. Here we got some memory tests. We can see the logs again. Okay, so below here we have a game store. I have done a quick comparison to the games they have here and it actually does seem a lot cheaper than for example Steam. I haven't yet tried purchasing a game so I'm not sure about the process but a nice option to have I guess. On the right side we have Legion Edge. If we click here we can see some finer details of what we can switch on and off. So this is I think the full option list. Not every piece of hardware, not every laptop or system has the same options. So some of these may not be available for us. These are the options we do have. Is that you can toggle the thermal options. So we have three thermal settings. Performance mode, balance mode and quiet mode. I've tested all three of them. I've seen that if you click the performance mode the fans go to their fullest so you actually hear the blowing quite loudly but I do think the performance actually did slightly improve it could be in my imagination but I ran the uh, Tomb Raider 
benchmark and it actually did perform slightly better than the balance mode. So the balance mode is the in-between mode. It automatically sets the fan speed according to the temperature and then we got the quiet mode which just I guess slows down the performance of the laptop but also consumes less power and makes less fan noise. So what you can do is also toggle this option here below which will enable performance mode only when a game is started. So what you can do on this page I think is add programs that get network priority so if for example you want Steam to utilize most of the network resources you can add it as an option and that way you can also tweak uh, the performance of programs that are open or closed and how they use the network. So here we have the auto close option which is quite a nice feature I haven't used it yet but what you can do is you can actually add programs to this list and as soon as you launch a game the Lenovo software should automatically close those applications when the games are started up. So you can actually click and then you can add programs to the list. Then we've got hybrid mode. Let's see what hybrid mode means. I haven't really looked into this. Disable advanced GPU settings when not gaming to boost battery performance. Well, that's an option you can use. I got it enabled at the moment. I think that's default. You can lock your touchpad. Okay, below here we have some quick settings. So we have rapid charge, which you can switch on and off, which you also saw at the power tab. Uh, I guess this is a quick access for that. We got Wi-Fi security, which you can enable or disable. So I did a quick research on this. It's quite interesting. What you can do is you can actually add a location. What we can do here is check for threats, check threats. And then you'll see there are a few thousand threats in this region and we can zoom in and see where they are coming from wow okay there's a whole lot of threats here okay this is also quite nice you can actually zoom in and you can see the satellite photos not sure what's going on there looks like a uh, virus hazard um anyway so i did some quick research on this it's not very clear where they getting this where they get this data from so Interesting fact, so the Coronet is a Israeli-based company. Uh, I cannot find a lot of information about it. I guess you could Google it and you'll find uh, the background. Then we've got Dolby settings, which are probably all your audio settings. You can go through these yourself. Q&A, it has a built-in Q&A system wherein you can basically uh, consult their knowledge base just to find any issues going on with your system. Uh, you can probably just check it out here. They also got a support page full of articles and ways to optimize your laptop, boost your network, uh, troubleshoot issues that you have may have with your laptop. So that's quite nice. So I would say um, I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to keep it on my laptop for a while. I don't think it has any uh, impact on the performance of games. If it does, I'll uh, remove it. But for now, I actually kind of like the options available. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.